What's going on everybody, Josh Polkock here, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a deep dive look into Swarm, OpenAI's new AI agent framework. We're going to take a look and see how it actually compares to some of the leading frameworks like Crew AI, Autogen, and Langgraph. And we're also going to see how we can integrate OpenAI's new Swarm with Crawl for AI, an open source framework that simplifies asynchronous web scraping. And I'm even going to give you our Stride Swarm Crawl for AI marketing AI agent for 100% free in our GitHub repo, which is going to include the crawl for AI documentation, as well as the swarm documentation and examples. So you can iterate on it and improve upon it. And it already has five different custom agents built into it, such as the user interface agent, web scraper agent, analyst agent, campaign idea agent, and copywriter agent where you can implement any single website and it will scrape all the data on the website, generate a custom marketing plan, complete campaign analysis, marketing copy that you can use for advertising and much more. And of course, I'm going to provide you our in-depth document that will contain all the different links, resources, videos, and any other additional information surrounding OpenAI Swarm, Crawl for AI, and this custom agent. So you can easily follow along with this video and just simply copy and paste to get this up and running as soon as possible. It's going to be a good one let's dive right into it all right guys so i'm sure all of you have already heard about opening eyes new swarm framework i will briefly go over it as well as the blog they posted and then we'll dive into actually the AI agent with crawl for AI and actually getting this implemented okay so here's the github repo for swarm if you haven't already i would definitely recommend checking that out as well as this blog post right here on their OpenAI cookbook, you can see orchestrating agents, routines, and handoffs. And this really just goes more in depth to the Swarm framework, talking in depth about routines as well as handoffs. So I would definitely recommend checking out this cookbook. Those two links are gonna help you if you wanna go deeper into Swarm. Okay, so the key links are the Swarm repo, of course, the cookbook. All right, we also have the Crawl for AI repo right here. If you're not familiar with Crawl for AI, it's a really good open source tool for scraping. And I've done videos on it before, as well as the Crawl for AI docs, okay? Also, of course, is the Stride Swarm Crawl for AI repo right here. So that's this repo right here. You're gonna want to Git clone it. I'm gonna show you that in just a second once we actually start setting this up. And if you're not familiar with this repo, guys, I did a video yesterday announcing our new Stride AI Agents repo, where I'm going to be uploading all the different AI agents we build on this channel here. So this is going to be an extremely valuable resource. So if you haven't already, make sure you star it and watch it so you can stay up to date with these new AI agents. Okay, and I would highly recommend checking out the first video right here if you haven't already. It's a bit of a longer one, but it is extremely valuable and I spent seven days creating it. So definitely check that out as well as this in-depth 79 page document are surrounding AI rag agents as well as this document here that I talk about in the video and this is the master prompt engineering template all right so even if you're not using N8N that video and these resources will be extremely helpful for you I can promise you that okay so what is OpenAI Swarm well OpenAI Swarm is an experimental open source framework released by OpenAI for creating orchestrating and deploying multi-agent AI systems it's designed to make agent coordination lightweight, highly controllable, and easily testable. So a few of the key features is its lightweight design, of course, as of now. So focuses on simplicity and ease of understanding. It's open source. It's built on OpenAI's chat completions API, not assistance. So this allows for scalable and easily testable multi-agent systems. Now it's stateless architecture. So it doesn't store state between calls, similar to the chat completions API which can limit its use in complex context dependent tasks. Now, Autogen, Crew AI, and Langgraph offer stateful operations, allowing for memory retention between interactions. All right, so a few of the core concepts, we briefly touched on them already, but agents. So this is the unit that performs specific tasks or functions. Then we have handoffs. So this allows agents to delegate tasks or transfer conversation control to other agents seamlessly. And then routines. So this is natural language sequences of steps defined with necessary tools for execution. 
And here are a few different examples that OpenAI provided in their GitHub repo right here. So are you tired of pouring thousands of dollars into appointment setters only to watch leads slip away? Imagine having a team of elite sales agents booking qualified appointments for you around the clock. No more wasted time on training, no more frustration with performance, and no more draining your budget on inconsistent and expensive call centers. Introducing Stride Agents. AI powered appointment setters that work 24 seven, never get tired and book appointments while you sleep. Trained on thousands of successful conversations, our AI agents outperform human teams at just one-tenth of the cost. Join the ranks of businesses that doubled their appointments and booking rates in just a matter of weeks. Don't get left behind in the AI revolution. Visit strideagents.com now and transform your entire sales process with cutting-edge AI technology. It's time to accelerate your stride with AI agents. All right, so the simple triage agent the weather agents, the airline customer service agent, personal shopping agent, and a bunch of other ones. You can check out the GitHub repo there. And lastly, before we dive into this custom agent build, we're going to talk about Swarm versus Crew AI versus Autogen versus Langraph. So Swarm stands out for its simplicity and lightweight design, offering more granular control over agent interactions. Now, Swarm is, like I said, it's experimental, so it's you know, a lot of people have been saying, oh, it's only X amount of lines of code and blah, 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 which is definitely true. These tools right here do have a lot more features and capabilities right now, but Swarm is still very new. And if Swarm just adds some of these features and capabilities, then it definitely could be very competitive. So Autogen, more sophisticated debugging tools and logging functionalities. Crew AI focuses on rule-based agent design and structured workflows. And then Langraph supports cycles and branching and workflows built in persistence. And then agent coordination. So all four frameworks excel in agent coordination, which is a core feature of multi-agent systems. However, they approach it differently. So OpenAI Swarm uses the concept of handoffs to allow agents to transfer control based on context. Autogen and Crew AI offer sophisticated agent interactions and role-based design. And then Langraph provides support for complex workflows with cycles and branching. So advantages with OpenAI Swarm, so flexibility, modularity, low learning curve at the moment, and then the limitations, so it's experimental, no official support, stateless, and then way less features at the moment. And then also a note on production grade usability, so Autogen and Crew AR are more mature and suitable for production use, while OpenAI Swarm is explicitly described as experimental and not intended for production experiments. And then here is a table comparison between some of these tools here. All right, and here's an additional video I made on Crawl for AI, so you can check that out if you're new to the tool after this. And then once again, the first video that I mentioned before, I would definitely recommend checking that out and these resources, okay? So let's get into this custom build. And if you're not familiar with Crawl for AI, it's essentially a similar tool to something like Firecrawl, and I've also done a video on Firecrawl, but it doesn't require an API key, so I really like this tool. So if we go to the GitHub repo here in number two, you'll see that we have a few different folders here. We have the swarm examples, which is the swarm examples and the readme. So you can use that. Um, say if you're using this within cursor, you can use those examples as well as the crawl for AI docs right here, which I uploaded for you guys. This is all the crawl for AI docs. So if you want to iterate upon this, improve upon this, even if you don't know how to code, you can input this into cursor, use it as context and then improve upon this AI agent. Okay, so you can go through, read this, look at some of the features and the agents that we're using. I'm gonna showcase them in just a second. A few requirements, Python 3.10 plus, that's a requirement with Swarm, and then the crawl for AI library, open AI API key, you're gonna need that, and then the Swarm AI library. So first things first, run this command to git clone the repo. Then second, you're going to change directory into the folder. And then you're going to want to create a virtual environment. This is optional, but recommended. So here's an example, run Python dash M virtual environment. And then depending on if you're on Windows or Linux or Mac, you're going to activate it using one of these commands right here to activate the virtual environment. And then you're going to pip install requirements right here. So if we take a look at what the requirements are that we're installing right now, it is crawl for AI all open AI Python dot ENV torch playwright and then beautiful soup so once you install those requirements you're going to want to install the open ai swarm so you can run this command right here pip install and then we're installing swarm or you if you have ssh access you can run this command 
And then you're going to want to set up your environment variables. So you can either run this command to copy the .env example to a new .env file. You can just do that within your IDE, but you're going to want to do that and then change out your OpenAI key right here and then save that as a .env. All right, once you're done that, you're going to want to run the Python script. All right, now before I run the Python script, I'm going to quickly go over it a little bit, not fully in depth, but just briefly, just so you can kind of see, like I said, you can check this out, of course, and change it around, iterate upon it. So we have some logging right here, loading environment variables. You can see the imports up here. We're initializing our OpenAI client. And then this is a function to create the folder for the website. So we're going to scrape um, a website we're going to input a website url it's going to scrape the content of it so this is the function to scrape the website using crawl ai so scrape website using crawl ai's asynchronous crawler and then clean the content and then we're going to clean the content and structure the content with beautiful soup remove script and style elements right here get the text break it in so this is all just um, formatting right here and we're saving the clean content to a file and then we're saving the extractor content to a file. And then this is a function to generate completions using OpenAI right here. All right, we have some different functions here. And then we have our different agents right here. So we have the web scraper agent, the analyst agent, the campaign idea agent, the copywriter agent, the user interface agent. All right, and here you can see the different agent workflows, their purposes, their functionality of each individual agent. And this whole agent isn't perfect by any means. Like I said, you can definitely iterate on it, improve upon it, make it better. And I would definitely change around some of these prompts to get better output. But this is just a starting point that you guys can use and get some good ideas from. All right, so now that we have all the requirements installed, let's go ahead and test this. So we're going to run Python main.py. All right, so it's asking us for a URL to analyze. I'm going to input strideagents.com. As you can see, scraping website, warming up asynchronous web crawler is ready to crawl now it is started to crawl extracting content All right you can also see here it has generated a new folder called stride agents we can see that we have the full website content right here this is all the different website content we can see website content here this is just indexes of it and whenever you scrape a new website you'll see a folder is created with all the different markdown files in there all right, so you can see we got our marketing analysis right here. Now it's asking for the target audience. Let's just say business owners to keep it simple. Marketing goals, book more calls. As you can see, creating campaign idea, generating completion for marketing strategist. Now we got a campaign idea MD file right here. Now it's generating completion for copywriter. All right, so now we got our marketing copy right here. So in total, we can see here that the demo has been completed. We got our marketing plan MD file, our website content, our mar marketing copy, our campaign idea, our analysis, and then our full website content. So if we take a look here, we can see analysis. You know, we can see all the different stuff right here. We can see campaign idea, right? So we can see different campaign ideas, of course. And the prompts that we're using in this AI agent definitely are not optimized um, to my liking, to what I would actually use this in production. This is just example. I would definitely uh, customize and improve upon these prompts to get better outputs. Okay, same thing for marketing copy. I would definitely make sure that you tailor it for your specific brand or for your specific use case. All right, so you don't just get cookie cutter AI generated stuff here. Um, and same thing for the marketing plan, but this should give you some, hopefully some good ideas and be a really good starting point to, for you guys to see what's actually possible with this. As you can see here, we got different campaign components, personalized video messages, inter interactive webinar series, whatever the case may be. And you can obviously get creative with this, have different outputs that it generates, have different agents, and we're really not even utilizing um, all the different, you know, capabilities that the OpenAI AI Swarm, uh, you know, framework or whatever you want to call it has right now. And I'm very excited to see um, the continued updates that they put out for this, you know, even just where it's at right now, even though, you know, I know a lot of people are saying that it's not comparable to something like True AI and Autogen, which I completely agree, agree with right now. But us knowing OpenAI and how quickly they could really turn things full blast and start pumping out new updates and shipping things if they wanted to, uh, I'm definitely confident in the future if they actually start 
taking this out of experimental mode that we will see some pretty cool things with this framework but other than that guys i just wanted to give you a quick video showing you a potential use case how you could integrate something like openai swarm with something very powerful like crawl for ai you could do this for many different frameworks you could do this for fire crawl you could do this for really anything the possibilities are endless but you guys can get creative with it let me know in the comments what cool things you build with this and like i said all the links will be linked down below specifically to this github repo as well as the document which outlines everything if you have any questions let me know down below and i'll try my best to help you out if you're new to the channel guys we upload videos every single day on ai automation marketing sales etc so if you like this type of content make sure to smash that like button and then subscribe to stay up to date with the daily uploads also too guys if you like this video and you like ai agents i would definitely recommend checking out the video i made yesterday like i said before as well as the different resources and master prompt template that i provide to you guys there for free i'm positive that you will get some good value out of it and if you guys haven't already joined our free community, stridecommunity.com, I'll leave a link down below in the description, our free Facebook group and Discord channel. You can join there and network with other like-minded AI entrepreneurs, developers, whatever the case may be. Also too, guys, if you run a business and you have leads or you need leads and you need them being set into your calendar or your sales team's calendar, check out strideagents.com, AI appointment setters with AI voice, AI text, AI email, whatever the case may be that will book appointments directly into your calendar on autopilot while you sleep. Trained on thousands of successful conversational pathways, these AI agents will outperform real life humans at only a tenth of the cost guaranteed. That sounds like something you're interested in. Check out strideagents.com or book a call with me down below and we could see if it would be a fit for your business. Let me know what you guys are going to build with OpenAI's new Swarm framework, as well as if you're going to use Crawl for AI or another use case, another potential framework. Let me know in the comments down below, what's the next AI agent that you want to see me build and give it to you guys for free on our Stride AI agents repo. Other than that, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.